This is an unprecedented crisis, and this is indeed the worst recession since the Great Depression. It was already the worst recession since the Great Depression in April, when we had projected growth for 2020 to be at minus 3 percent, but now at minus 4.9 percent, that is even, even more strongly true. And no country has been spared. Both emerging markets, developing economies, advanced economies have all been very badly hit during this crisis. These projections imply a cumulative loss to the global economy over two years of over $12 trillion from this crisis. The downgrade from April reflects worse than anticipated outcomes in the first half of this year an expectation of more persistent social distancing into the second half of this year and damage to supply potential. The health crisis is not over, and so we could see uh, a potential second wave. What we've assumed in our baseline number is that there could be an increase in the number of infections. However, we are not going to see the kind of stringent lockdowns that were needed in the first half of this year. When the recovery is stronger, uh, we are in a better place with the health crisis, better able to manage it, then countries will have to undertake medium-term fiscal management uh, and, well, in a while, through a combination of expenditure and revenue measures. And as of now, uh, countries should make sure that they are following best practices, that they're putting proper safeguards in place, uh, using, you know, making sure there's proper fiscal accounting and uh, fiscal transparency. But as of now, the need of the R is for this kind of policy support.